Should you keep the tomato sauce in the fridge? Wow, Mehmet, thank you very much for the question that's brought our office the closest to physical violence so far. <laughs> Look, you're not the first to ask. The media constantly claims they've settled the debate. But we're gonna do this properly. No polls, no opinions, just a simple experiment to see how much bacteria and mould your sauce in the pantry actually carries. We started with three fresh, unopened bottles of sauce. Yum. And used each of them exactly once a week for a month. Cam stored his in the fridge. Well, I'm a bit of a germaphobe, but it just feels like common sense. Alex put hers in the pantry, but always wipes off the nozzle first. I don't like my sauce cold, but I also don't like my sauce crusty. Ugh. And Lou also put theirs in the pantry, but doesn't bother wiping the nozzle. Ugh. I don't give a shit. We're all life forms, all good in the hood. Then we waited. And after that month, Associate Professor Nick Coleman took a sample from each sauce bottle to culture any microbes present, as well as a sample from our floor. And now the moment of truth. Firstly, this is what floor bacteria looks like. Oh. Nasty. And now for your sauces. Cam, yeah. you kept your sauce refrigerated mm -hmm. and your bacterial load looks like this. Just a few tiny microbes. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. Alex, you wiped down your nozzle with kitchen paper mm. and kept it in the cupboard and your bacterial load looks like this. <gasps> Ew! There is definitely something oh. growing there. And finally, Lou, you kept your sauce in the cupboard and you didn't wipe it down, you filthy grot. Feeling nervous? Yes. Well, your bacterial culture looks like this. What? Wait, is that clean? That's clean. That's what? clean. Huh? That's a win for me. That's such a win. What? But, but, but I wiped. What the FAQ? So I think one thing that's going on here is that the sauce has pretty strong natural defences against microbes. The sauce has salt and sugar and vinegar in it and all of those are pretty good antimicrobial agents and they'll suppress the growth of microbes. Why has Alex's clean nozzle sauce come out with a worse result than Lou's crusty one? Yeah, it is, does seem paradoxical, doesn't it? So I think what's happened is there were a handful of microbes on the paper towel that she used to wipe it down, and so the germ transfer has gone the other way from the paper towel onto the bottle. So if Alex doesn't want to have a crusty nozzle, how can she wipe it down without creating life form? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think the paper towel is a perfectly good approach, um, and the fact that a couple of germs transferred from the paper towel onto the sauce is not a cause for concern. Another perfectly good approach would be to wipe down the sauce bottle with like a kitchen sponge, a nice clean sponge uh, that's been rinsed in hot water and detergent. That'd also be good. So finally, I have to ask, Nick, how do you store your sauce? Yeah, it's a very personal question, Lawrence, that I admit I'm a fridge man, um, so I store the sauce in the fridge. Um, but after looking at these results now, so it seems that uh, the pantry is also okay. So uh, I think we have to follow the science and say that either option is acceptable. So in conclusion, it doesn't matter where you keep your sauce. Just don't wipe it down with Alex's dirty rag. Of course, none of this is relevant to me because I prefer Vegemite. Yes. 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 Yes.